That rip rap. All right, let's loop it out there again. Let's see if we can have some luck. We're gonna try different angles, okay? You remember I told you guys last time about angles. Very important. That wind keeps tossing us in and I keep fishing off the back of the boat. But you know what? We're having a good time. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Right there. Off the back of the boat. Let me show you. Let me bend you down. Look at the size of this male. Good night. Let me see if I can get you. Whoa! That's why you have to have your drag set. That's why you have to have your drag set. Man. That's why you have to have that drag set. Look at the size of this. Man, these rascals look like bass. That's why you have to have that drag set. Look at that. Let's pull this rascal in here. Boy, you got a lot of fight in you. I mean a ton of fight. I'm going to lift him. He looks like he's a 13. Now you start catching 15s. Listen, you start catching 15s. Let me tell you guys this. You start catching 15s and you're like, okay, I don't have to use the net for a 13. Let me pull you up just a little bit. I don't have to use the net for a 13. Look at this rascal here. Good night. Look at that hook set. Let me see if I can flip, flip him over so you guys can see it. That is why that hook goes through and it does not come out. It's like a syringe. You don't even have to set the hook. All you have to do is lift that pole up, take the slack out of the line, and you got instant crappie. Look at that. You guys, it's not going anywhere. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. That hook is not going anywhere. Look at that. Mm. I'm going to have to get some pliers to get this bad boy out of here. Ugh. Look at that. That's another male. You see that tuxedo he has on. Okay? We're going to let him go. We're not going to keep him. That's a 13 inch crappie. Let's let this one go. Let me pull you down a little bit, guys, so you guys can see me releasing. Guys, we're catching on every cast. We're catching on every cast. Three weeks ago, before the fish started biting, you guys remember this spot I was telling you about big boulders, that riprap? If you follow me, you know what I'm, what I'm speaking of, okay? Um, I'm going to reference that video again. You remember I mentioned to you, if you were fishing from the bank, and I told you right here, guys, I was, be catching, I, I was going to be catching 12, 13, 14 inch crappie and even 15 inch crappie. We're getting ready to hit it right now. And I want to say this to, to everybody out there. Let me see if I can turn you around. This segment right here isn't for everybody. OK, these are the big boys. I have once I get back on the boat, I'm going to show you guys. I had to upgrade my equipment on the nasty bin hooks. I left the 1 16th and now I'm running the 1 8th. Okay, I'll be running the 1A and I'm running that number one nasty bend hook. All right, and you will see the, the, the hyperlink. All you got to do is go to Cam's Crappy Hole. If you're catching 14, 13, 14, 15 inch crappie, you're going to need these hooks. Okay, and like I mentioned to you before, just a little while ago, this segment here ain't for everybody, along with those big crappie that I'll be pulling right out of here. Let me show them to you. Okay, there's the rip raft that runs in the bottom. That's the hard bottom right there. And they're right over here, approximately in that area right there. Look at River over there. Look at him. He's having a good time. Whenever he comes out here, he always has a good time. He loves running. He has on a new life vest, too. <clears throat> now, back to what I was saying. I got the big guns out today. If you want the very best that I offer, if you're one of those guys out there, or females, that like bells and whistles, I brought my, my two top poles out. This is going to be the comparison between the Ferrari and the Lamborghini. That's what, we're run, that's what we're going to be running today. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to lay them down here so you guys can see both of them. Okay. I'm going to lay them down right here. And I'm going to show both of them to you side by side. Okay. Side by side. And they already have about, I don't know, 15, 20 bodies on them each. Okay. But these are the best rod and reels that I offer. Let me turn around so I want to show them to you guys so we'll be able to go over them. This is my blacked out titanium, which is the Ferrari. This is the Lamborghini, the white carbon. We call it the white ghost, okay? Both of them have titanium gearboxes, both of them. Both of them have EVA grips, okay? Dual split handles, large four handle, okay, for comfort. Both of them are carbon fiber. Okay, both of them have, have high-tech line sensibility, 
So it senses the what line that you that you're using it and it and it adjusts to that. Okay? Both of them have six pound drag and they're click drag. So when you can turn them notch by notch. Boop, 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 boop. Okay? You can see the ball bearings right there, 10 plus one. Okay? And of course this one right here says Cam's crappy hole. I have all the specs on there. Okay? I have all the specs what line that it casts and so on and so forth. Both of my poles are, are signature series. This is the blacked out titanium, which is a Ferrari. And this is the Lamborghini, the Aventador. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can show you. If you like, if, if, listen, if you like the Ferrari all blacked out, then this is your thing. Okay, if you like it all blacked out. Or if you like white out, the white carbon, this is whited out. Okay, these are my, all the bells and whistles go into these poles. Everything that I offer, they took me nine months to, nine months, 10 months to develop. Before you guys see them right here, it took me that long to get these rascals to where they're supposed to be. All of my rods guys, including any ones that you've purchased, they come with a one-time accidental replacement for life. Okay? I want you guys to remember that. And also, I want you guys to remember, go look at your pole, what you're using right now, see how many ball bearings that, you, that your, your pole, your current one has. Okay, mine has 10 plus one, which is a total of 11. Okay, that one ball bearing is for this click right here to make, it, to make that reel only go, make it, that spool only go one way. Okay, that's what the plus one is for. Both of them have the same, dude, they're, it, it, really and truly, it's not really a matter of, it's what you want at this at this stage of the game okay and i want to say this to you guys we also have them with the complete combo kit with the jig assortment it comes in a water to watertight carrying case okay i got it for the black dot titanium and i also have it for the white ghost okay but listen this is what i'm going to be using when i get on the boat i'm going to show you exactly the hardware that i'm going to be using okay you can see right there we switched to that big hook you can see that one eight because they're sitting right down near the bottom. Look at River. He's always ready to get on the boat. He's always ready to get on the boat. All the time. Look at him. So this is where they're going to be located. Right in here. I'm going to be fishing on the boat, but I'm going to be throwing back towards the bank. Okay? So, do whatever you, Let me see if I can get you right. Do whatever you got to do to go ahead and get ready. Okay? Because the boat's right there on that point, And we're getting ready to catch some crappie. All right? And like I mentioned to you guys before, I'm catching and releasing. I'm not keeping. Because the fish are just starting to breach the shallows. And one thing I want you guys to remember, one of the most important things that I can tell you, slow that jig down. Okay? Because they're coming from the deep. This is the basin over there. That's the basin. It's 25, 26 foot feet deep over here. And when it, up in here, right in here where I'll be catching them, it's only about five and a half, six feet deep. Okay? So... What I want to tell you guys, slow that jig down. It is most important to slow that jig down because they're still a little bit touch lethargic. Okay? You don't want to just zip it past them and they don't see it. So, <clears throat> with that being said, <clears throat> once we get it back on the boat, I'm going to show you exactly the hardware. And you already know what I'm going to be using, that red, black, and chartreuse. I don't even have to even tell you guys what I'm using. But if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button right down there share it with all your friends all over the world like it and right below that video there's a subscribe button it's a red it's a red block you'll see it right below the video to the right hand side just click that subscribe button and once you click it a bell will come up make sure that bell is clicked so you won't miss any of my future episodes that i got coming out now, this is going to be a jam-packed 2020 okay we're, we're guys we are having a blast and i want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me and now it's time to get ready to get on this boat and see if we can yank some of these crappie. Okay, let's get ready to do it. So you can see. Let me throw off the back end of the boat. So River can get back there. I know he loves seeing what's going on back there. I'm going to catch you guys right off the back of the boat. Here we go, here we go, there we go, there we go, off the back of the boat, look at that, off the back of the boat, 
Look at this big crop here. Big male, too. Whoa, man, look at this. Look at the size of this big male. Let me turn you guys around. That's why you got to have that drag set. That's why it's so important to have that drag set. Look at the size of this male. Where's my net? Man, I don't want to lose them. Guys, that's why you have to have those nasty bin hooks. Whoa, man, this is a 15-inch crappie. Whoa, man, come here, big boy. Whoa. All right. Oh, man. Guys, listen. We, we, we come here. We've been out here eight minutes, if that, okay? And I got to get set so I can show you guys this big male. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Listen. You guys gonna get mad at me, boy, if I don't show this fish. I know y'all gonna be like, Cam, look, just show us the blame fish. You notice I said blame. Guys, this is this is when you start wearing your tuxedos. We caught this one off of the blacked out titanium. Look at the size of this crappie. Look at that nasty bin hook right there in the side of the jaw. Let me take that, that hook out because I don't want to get hooked with it. It doesn't discriminate. It's not prejudice. It'll take on all comers. Look at the size of this crappie. Matter of fact, guys, 14, 14 and a half. Let's measure him. Let's measure this rascal. I got 15 inches out right now. I got 15 inches out right now. 15 inches. Can you guys see that? 15 inches. Let me back up a little bit. 15 inches this is a male you guys if you've been following me for a while you know i talk about their war paint okay their war paint or aka tuxedos the big boys are back in town matter of fact we're going to film this for instagram as well i've you know when you fish or everybody out there who who loves to fish Going fishing reminds you of good times when you were a little kid. You can hear the excitement in my voice. That's what catching these big rascals does, okay? It takes you back to childhood and sparks a nostalgia when, you, when times were good for you, okay? Let me film this rascal here for Instagram. 30, somewhere in that neighborhood. Look at this big 15 inch male. He has this war paint on, AKA tuxedo. Guys, I'm fishing in about five and a half, six feet of water. Look at the size of this crappie. Is this thing ginormous or what? I want you guys to see me release this crappie, okay? I'm gonna let her go. I'm not keeping at all this year. Okay, let me show you. It's a little bit chilly out here, and I'm gonna tell you, we got overcast, and um, I'm gonna show you the hook that I'll be using. I went to the round head, okay? I went to the round head, and this is that nasty bin hook okay you can see that's the number one hook to give you guys a little bit of scale as to compare to the hooks that most people run <laughs> you're gonna be mad at me when I show you this okay look at the difference you see the difference okay dude I can't I can't use this dude I, there ain't no way I can use this this little bitty hook that's not gonna make it for me I have to have that nasty bin hook Okay, and there ain't nobody that has these chemically sharpened hooks like me. Guys, all you gotta do is go to camscrappyhole.com and we still got free shipping going on, okay? And by the way, if you guys are interested in any of my rod and reels, please don't sleep on them. If you're interested in them, let me turn you around a little bit so you guys can see me real good. If you even think you may need them after spring, during summer, during the fall, during the winter, you need to go ahead and get them right now. You can save, also you can save yourself a little bit of money by going to that free shipping. Now, if you don't like that gold nasty bin hook, that's a, I'm running a 1A ball head, okay? With the number one gold hook. You can't use this, but if you prefer a red hook, if you like the red hook, look at that. That's the red. That's that nasty bin red hook, okay? Now, the reason why I've gone with the number one hook because I'm catching some big, real big crappie. If, if I go back to catching 11s and 12s, I'll go back to a number two generally, okay? That's it in a black nickel. Look at that bend in that hook. Guys, you're not gonna, listen, just by using these hooks, these nasty bend hooks, you increase your, your catch ratio by 300%. Look at the bend in there. Look at that point, look how sharp it is. Guys, and you know all of my hooks, they're notorious for this. You guys know that, okay? You know my hooks are notorious for that. All you have to do is just barely touch your skin, they're like syringes, okay? 
But listen, let's get ready to back out. I want to show you guys what I'm using. Let's see if we can catch some fish real quick. Now remember, I'm not on a meat run today again. Which one do you guys want me to start with? The Lamborghini or the Ferrari? Let's start with the White Ghost, okay? I'm going to start with the White Ghost. Let's get ourselves situated here. Catch one on the White Ghost, then we're going to flip over. Then we're going to flip over to uh, the Blacked Out Titanium, which is the sister, the brother of the White Ghost. Just a flick of the wrist, that's all it takes. Doesn't take a lot. Bad boy go 15 yards. Look at that. We were just getting getting everything together. Look at that. Look at that. We were getting the boat together and they hit. Look at this, guys. That's why you want this Lamborghini. That's why you want the White Ghost. Look at this. Let me make sure the drag is set. Whoa, man. Let me see if I can turn you guys around so you can see it. Look at the size of this crappie. Look at the size of this crappie. Whoa. Man. Let me get the net. Wow. Good thing, I, let me tell you something, when I'm back here, I have to have that net. Whoa! Man, oh man, oh man, let me turn you guys around. Oh man! Alright, let me get this rascal out of here. Let me turn you down so you guys can see me real good. There you go. And I want to show you guys this. Look how far he devoured that red, black, and chartreuse jig. Look how, look how white he is. See how white he is? This is a female, by the way. I can see her stomach. Look how far down the throat that red, black, and chartreuse is. They literally eat that jig. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me get this rascal out of here. Man! Is that red, black, and chartreuse? Look at this big rascal. 13-inch crappie. Okay? A 13-inch crappie. Guys, our second cast. Look at that. That's what you're looking for. I want to make sure you guys can see that real good. Now, let's, let, me, let me get myself together here, and I'm going to release her because I'm not keeping. I'm definitely not keeping. Let me show you guys the release. There you go. Let me bend you down a little bit. There you go. Let me show you the release. All right, let's get back in position. Hear that drag. Let me tell you something. The most important thing on a rod and reel is that drag. Guys, it's important to, I have a segment, I have it downstairs in the description on how you, the proper way to set your drag, okay? I'm going to have that downstairs. You guys, that, that is, since I started building rod and reels, I really didn't know how important a drag system was, but our matrix, matrix drag on all of our rod and reels allows you to dial it in, click, 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 a, a, a small, minute click, okay? Let me make sure I got this rascal set just right, because we don't want to anything to pop our line. Let's get back up there. We're going to try it again, okay? Look at River. He has on a nice blue life vest. <clears throat> again, all you got to do is go to camscrappyhole.com. If you like the, the Ferrari, if you like the Lamborghini, the White Ghost, or the Blacked Out Titanium, both of them are the top shells. This is for those guys out there that that like all the bells and whistles, that's what these are. Okay, this is the top shelf stuff. I can get some rain coming in too. Again, we're using the white ghost. Okay, let's get back up there again. Let's see if we can catch another one. You can see the rain starting to come. Now let me tell you this, I didn't even set up on different angles. Okay, I'm just running the same angle right here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's why I have to switch to that 1A, that number one hook. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Let me pull you down. Man, it's kind of a, a, a task catching these size crappie. Look at that. Whoa. Look at this male. Ooh, wow. 
This is why you got to take the kids out there, guys. This is why you got to take the kids out so you can catch them like this. That's that nasty bin hook and that red, black, and chartreuse. Oh, man. Man. You know, I was supposed to use the net, right? But since we caught that 15, let me turn you around. <laughs> guys, I'm like a little kid out here. Let me see if I can show you guys. 13 inch crappie. Look how black he is. So, let me explain to you why they're black. <clears throat> That's their war paint. They're up there guarding eggs right now. Okay, so what happens is when predators come around, they put this war paint on their tuxedos, telling all, all the other predators, stay away or you will be in trouble. Look how black his cheeks are. Guys, this rascal would taste unbelievable with a brand new bottle of hot sauce okay on the table but we're not going to keep him we're going to let him go okay let me see if i can show you guys the release make sure you guys can see it ah there you go we're not keeping I thought i'm sitting there thinking about doing some more fishing if ever you need me who knows better about the rod and reels than i do all you have to do is go to camscrappyhole.com. You look right up there in the right-hand corner, you'll see contact. You can email me, cam at camscrappyhole.com. Or if you want to call me, right up there. I answer my phone. And let me say this to you guys. If y'all know somebody, I got a new microphone, has a little wind thing, the wind damper. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, you know, when I start filming. Um, if you know anybody that has purchased my products, Ask them about my customer service. I go out of my way, I bend myself into a pretzel to make sure that you guys are happy and that you're catching fish. You have a choice to make. Whether you like the white ghost or whether you like the black dot titanium, okay? These are all my bells and whistles right here. It doesn't get any better than this. Both of these are my cam signature series, okay? They're here for a limited time. I'm only making a few of these. Okay, and all you got to do is just go to camscrappyhole.com, put them in there, and we'll even ship them to you free of charge. Okay, you saw what they do, and you have a decision to make. If you like all the bells, I, I have a lot of buddies that like all the bells and whistles, and that's what I designed these for. So, listen, I'm Cam, this is the Crappy Hole. Until next time, guys, keep those hooks wet, keep those lines tight, and we're going to see you on the next turn. I won't let her go at all. It's crappy.